Hello everyone, it looks like we're live and today we're going to be doing a little trend that's really old and also become new again called zines, which I think is probably short for magazine, but they're tiny little magazines. Um, I'm going to show you what you need and how to fold it and Peg is going to show you, uh, she's going to talk about the history of the idea and um, you know what it's all about from like way back when to now. So Peg, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I just want to say hello to all the people that are here live with us. Appreciate you coming in. Some of you have been here for quite a while. I want to say hi to Patty and Sybil and Ian and Peggy and B. Uh, who am I missing? I uh, try to scroll back here a little bit and catch everybody. And like she said, yeah. we're working on zines today. And, you know, I remember zines from, you know, 30 years ago because I remember doing altered books and all kinds of stuff like that way back when. And um, it was a trend and it still is. There are a lot of people doing it. And it kind of depends on what industry you're in because some people... Um, still do zines with a lot of informational stuff that they're sending out for different organizations or like if you're a photographer there there a lot of interesting material out there you know if you just do a little but I think today we're concentrating more on artistic zines right Show. Yes, kind of mixed media zines using all the ideas that yeah. came along when mixed media came along to basically make a tiny little booklet is what it is. And it has some little pages. It's kind of like an art journal, kind of like you could put some words in it and make it more like a magazine. Um, so I noticed some more people are coming in. Hi, Bea, Patricia, Lisa, Marie, Pat, and Deborah. They've all come in. And I'm going to show you how to fold this real quick in case you don't know. Um, this, this is just a plain old eight and a half by 11 piece of typing paper. And the one that I'm actually going to use, I made out of 11 by 14 mixed media paper because I like a little bit heavier paper, but you can make it out of just plain old paper from your printer. And it's very, very simple. All, all you'll need is um, a bone folder or a dull knife. Um, I, I like to use a craft knife and a metal ruler and a, a um, self-healing cutting mat, but you could use just scissors to do the last step. So all that you do is, um, <laughs> the way my mom used to make these in her classroom, like, you know, 20 years ago, and she'd give them to the kids. The kids would all have one and they'd do their um, vocabulary words in them and stuff like that. So the way that she describes it is first you do a hamburger fold and that is a, the fat fold instead of the long skinny way and try to make it as even as you can. And then I like to give it a good scratch with the bone folder and fold it the other direction because it's going to be going, some, some of them are going to be going opposite in it in a minute. So then the next thing is to do a hot dog fold, which is a skinny fold to the, from the edge to the center. And I like to do those both directions to make it nice and floppy. And then same thing on the other side, from the outside to the inside, trying to make it straight. If you don't make it completely straight or you have little extra bits that you don't like, you can cut them off at the end if you're real fussy. And then, so you have basically four sections. And then the last fold is this way, which is the actual hot dog fold. If you're talking about folding paper, long skinny versus short fat. <laughs> and that kind of makes me laugh. So that is how you fold it. So then at the end, and the last thing that you need to do is you need to make a slit and the slit goes from here to here along this line and I like to use a metal ruler and an exacto knife for that 
because I just think it makes it easier. So then all you have is a thing that's going to end up folding kind of like a, uh, kind of like a uh, cross. And then when you push it all together, it makes a little booklet. So you have a book. And that's all that a zine is. That's it. Nothing fancy. So now you guys can all make one, right? <laughs> yes, of course you can. So let's see what pigs are looking like. What have you got uh, over there, pig? <laughs> I have the makings of one that I started last night just out of a piece of magazine. Um, you can use magazine pages. You can use anything. But um, because it was a little bit flimsy, I decided that the one I'm working on today, I'm going to use some um, Bristol because I want to put some water on this. So um, I agree that this is a good size because what they did with these is they would scan them. And once you've got a them with your friends. So um, I made this one a more manageable size. I also have one that I'm working on, which is a travel one. Um, and I, I got a, when I was traveling, I picked up this road map. And this is an Indiana road map. So that I can actually make pockets in the top. And I can take this with me when I travel, and I can put all of that when I make the pockets up there. So that's just another idea. So, and what I did here is I just, you know, I folded it in line. Going to do the same thing. Do my folds. Um, I may decide I want pockets in this one. Nice pockets up here. And is go through and number these. So I'll put the page numbers on here so that I know which So, has anybody out there made zines before? Who likes to do this stuff? Um, they're asking you to zoom out, Peg. Okay. You're too close. So, for mine, um, I noticed that when you fold this thing, that you really only need, if you want to decorate all the pages at once, you really only have to decorate one side because all the other ones are going to be on the inside. So I'm going to do my whole background first, and then I'm going to fold it and start decorating each individual page using different, uh, um, you know, cutouts from magazines or napkins or stamps or whatever, whatever type of pile of junk I have over here. And I, I was thinking that zines should have a theme and my first idea was that I was going to do a travel one with all, so I cut out some different pictures of different places I wanted to travel, but I decided I don't want to do that because it's cold. There was actually frost on my window, window shield this morning when I drove my mom to her volunteering. Frost. I live in Arizona, Southern Arizona. That is ridiculous. So I want to do bright colors and flowers. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have a bunch of, um, different thing, flowery things that I like magazine cutouts and stuff and things that I've received in happy mail and napkins and just all kinds of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is decorate. And then I also cut a cover for mine and I'm going to decorate the cover at the same time because I'm going to tie, I'm going to make this basically be like a signature and I'm going to tie it inside the cover with a ribbon. So the way that I'm going to decorate is to take these pretty colors from Dilutions 
and I'm going to use my brayer and just start decorating. So let's go back to Peg and see what she's doing. Well, I'm just playing with some markers or whatever they call them from Jane Davenport. Um, I like the colors, and I thought that to put some color down here to start with, um, that would be a good choice. So that's all I'm doing is just getting a background started. Good plan. Uh, I don't Jill, like. Ollie says she's never made one. I know I haven't heard the name. Um type of any book, you know. So let's see. I think I want to let's see name. Oh Dila oh brother. <laughs> um, Not my language. Gotta try getting the ink out of here. So it looks like uh, I don't I don't think that We've, Hila is here, um, Holly, Thea, I'm not sure if Peggy Bradford was here earlier, she might have been. Yeah, she was. Uh, Cindy Utter has arrived. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Hello, hello. Happy to see everyone. Coming in. Always happy to see everybody. Yeah. And so if we you were guys... planning our March calendars, and we noticed that there, there is one time when we're going to be on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. So we probably should start telling you that now, so that in two weeks you'll know it's Wednesday instead of Thursday. I know it's too early, but it's just a good thing to do. So I decided to get out a uh, little, you know what, I'm not centered today. I didn't even look at that earlier because we were <laughs> thinking about other stuff. <laughs> um, I decided to get out a gel plate to use as a brayer uh, applicator because my craft sheet was like not working. It was making it too patchy. <laughs> I don't like patchy. I don't know about you guys, but... Nope. Patchy no patchy well. patchy. No, that's much better. Much nicer. Of course, all these little um, creases that I have from folding it are not going to be covered with paint very easily, but you get the idea. Perhaps should have done that uh, coloring and decorating before I folded it, but I wanted to fold it and see what size it was. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just how I roll. Sounds like Peg is uh, drawing something. Yeah, Pat, I figured that out. I needed to center myself. Probably in more ways than one. Things are just crazy this morning. My, my son started his new job and had to be out of the house early and uh, other people had to be out of the house at the same time, so there was a whole backup in the bathroom, and then my mom needed driven because she has a boot on her foot and she can't drive anywhere, and I knew I needed to come on here, and yeah, it was nuts this morning. So I probably need to center myself for sure, and not just my camera. Yeah. <laughs> I hate mornings <laughs> like that. Oh, man. It was nuts. And then, of course, time is going to change. I am. Um, which means, because in Arizona, time is a whole nother other kind of thing. The, the Thursdays that are coming up, I will be getting in on here at 8 a.m. instead of 9. To make it be the same time, because for those of you who don't know, Arizona doesn't change time. We're like, no, we're not going to do that. That's silly. So I will be moving to Pacific time 
lined up with Pacific time, but it's still just Arizona time. It's kind of silly, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to get... What do they call this? Bell <laughs> oh, jeez. I have a uh, just a thing from the dollar store that I'm going to use for a palette. And I'm going to spread out some... In. Just going to spread that out on that palette because I'm going to use some bubble wrap now with that paint. All right, bubble wrap. Just, That's a good idea. Just apply a little bit of texture on here. Get some color going. If you guys want to see some color, you should be checking out the, uh, Shell and I started doing the gel, what is it, gel print? It's Ergot Coopson's um, jelly, <laughs> what the heck is it, Shell? Jelly? Um, the hashtag Love. is uh, Bergit Coopson jelly print challenge. On it's, it's an Instagram challenge. And I can show it to you guys. Let me see. Because I have a print of it right here. So it's a daily Instagram challenge. And you hashtag Birgit Coopson Jelly Challenge. Also 31 days of jelly printing and falling in love with jelly printing. And each day there is a prompt. Today's prompt was circles. I did a bunch of different circle prints. But I am going to make a tag book also so i'm doing some of my prints right onto a tag and then i'm going to put these on a ring so that i'll remember what the challenge was so yeah we we are doing that just so if a you good way along if you want to get your jelly yeah yeah get out that plate get rolling with it get familiar with it practice with it play with it and by the end of the month, you'll be like, I don't want to do anything else because this is the most awesomest thing ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. I know that's going to happen for all of you. And if you don't have a plate, then I would suggest that you just go to the dollar store and get like a an inexpensive cutting board or placemat and then just play with that making some mono prints. It won't be exactly the same, but you can use the prompts and still join us in the and playing with the mono printing for the month of March. For sure. For sure, for sure. Like, oh my God, totally. <laughs> so awesome. So awesome. All right, I think I'm happy enough with my base colors here and I'm gonna start adding in a lot of white because Cause you can. I want this to be a background, not a like, oh my gosh, it's so bright. And I think I'm gonna use stencil <laughs> maybe. You're sounding so badly girl today. Like, oh my god, totally. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. <laughs> it's so bright. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's, not funny. it's okay. It's okay. It's kind of cute. <laughs> I was alive in the 80s. It's like totally valley. I even lived in the valley for a while. Valley girl, she's a valley girl. Yeah. Let's get out some stencils, man. I should have got these out beforehand. Well, you know, it's yeah. hard to think of everything. It is. I didn't even think I wanted stencils, but I do. Sometimes you just gotta have it. So uh, I 
have I have a couple of these projects going because you know once I get the paint out I gotta have something to put it on with a bunch of paint and stuff. I had excess paint from doing this one. So I got out my map one and put you know a bunch of paint onto the map so that it's starting to form my booklet. Imagine that. I spend more time drawing. So one thing to consider when you have stencils, I got out some stencils that have a direction because I was thinking about flowers. So like this one, ha it has to be this direction. If it was like this, it would look dumb. Same thing with this one. Um, other ones, of course, not so much, but like this one, the leaves are going in this direction. So if you're going to decorate your thing flat, you know that it's going to be folded like this. So your direction should be this way on this side, but on this side, it's the opposite. So just keep that in mind. I know you will. <laughs> so I'm going to maybe do, maybe do a stencil, a different stencil in white on each page. What do you think about that? Ooh, my sponges are all wet because I was a bad girl and I just left all my sponges sitting in the water overnight. Naughty, very naughty. I'm really enjoying these artist sponges. I've decided that I'm not going to use cosmetic sponges anymore. I'm going to use these instead. I've had them forever, but it just didn't occur to me that I like them for stenciling. I thought I liked them for other reasons. I don't know if I like that. So we've got more people joining this show, Gina and Cindy, and, you know, people are coming in, and yay, I'm glad they're all here. Um, Eileen says she's going to make her own gel plate, so that's cool. Awesome. We've got more jelly I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I've got some color down. That's a good thing. And I have some sticker stuff. Got some sticker stuff here. These are just um, colorful papers that I've run through the Zyron machine. So I might use some of those. I also have some. Sticker stuff from Gina. Cool stickers. But I might use some of these on here. So, and if you guys don't know about Gina's stuff in her Etsy store, be sure and check it out. Okay, I like these colors. I think I like this stuff. So let's start over here. Start put some of this on. <clears throat> and another thing that is really cool on here is like washi tapes and, you know, I mean, this essentially becomes like a washi tape because um, it's tissue that I have deli printed Jelly printed, jelly, deli. Can't even jelly talk deli. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> jelly, and, jelly, jelly. And then run through the Xyron so it becomes a sticker, you know. So how fun is that? Like, oh my God, it's like so totally fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Kind of need to think a little bit about placement on here. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just wing it. I don't know. It could happen. I can do a Cindy Utter thing and just glue it down. Glue it down. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's get some more orange on that one. Yeah, like that. I think mine is way too bright. <laughs> I guess I got yeah, out. Don't the overthink it. <laughs> you're right, Cindy. I do overthink it. Crazy. Oh, crazy bright. Oh, and I made a mess of this one because I tore it. So I'm going to cut it off weird. See, that's that overthinking part. Oh. Don't do it. Step away from the overthinking. here I don't know what I want I've got oh boy here's some more papers these are fun these are just scraps of things I think that might look good on that book <laughs> this is some hey. of that <laughs> uh, this is some of that um, paper that we made one day where I was crinkling up and squirting on stuff from the dollar store and um, kind of like the citrus solve where, where you put it on the magazine pages and squirt it on and squish it up and it bubbles up and dries. So that would be kind of fun on something. But so I've got you got the stuff pieces. from the dollar store because I don't. I think I missed that. Sorry, um, what? I want to make some of those. I tore out some pages from some magazines recently, and I want to make some of those. But you okay. just use the stuff from the dollar store, not the actual expensive stuff. Store. Okay, I'll have to go to the dollar store. And some of those old. What do you call them? National Geographic. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this without ordering the citrus solve because the citrus solve was a little bit pricey. And I'm gonna try this with the cheap stuff and see what I get. And I actually, let me grab a couple more of those and show you. I actually like the results. Um, let me see if I got some out here. Here we go. So this is what I got. And you see it it bubbled up from the heat, gave uh -huh. great texture and stuff. And this is just, you know, the, and you can see I've used, I've punched some of this stuff and used it. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think I have to buy citrus solve, and I think the orange stuff probably smells better than the citrus solve. Probably because I, you know, you need to go outside and you do that citrus solve stuff. Well, I'll have to give it a try. I've been wanting to do that, so. Oh, okay. pink page. Well. Well then, so what are they saying in the chat? I don't oh, know. Fran is here. Tape looks like batik. You think? Interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Ooh, that's what we should do. Batik, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you can batik papers too. I've done that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Batik next week. Sure. Let's let's talk about all kinds of resists 
and what you can use resist for. Okay, cool. You guys down with that? We hope, we hope. I think sometimes people are kind of befuddled by the idea of resisting, so. They're like, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> That would be fun. Yeah, it would. I like. I think I'm about well, done with packaging. my pencil in here. I did some pink and now a little bit of green on the cover using these homemade stencils that I made a long time ago in a land far, far away. I think that's going to be my far cover. Away. Probably should do both sides, but we're not going to have time. And I think, and then see how these are going this direction and these are going this direction. That's that's because I'm being smart. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of this green on this one right here. And we can move on to the next step of the party. Okie dokie. Do a little bit on that one too. Via and Alta are here. I don't think I've said good morning to them. Citrusolve is um, is what is Citrusolve product called from the dollar store. It's an orange something. Um, it's just a solvent cleaner, orange something from the dollar store. I don't know if I have a bottle around here. I know everybody ran out and bought it right away, so it seems. Cindy, do you remember what the name of that stuff was? You know, I never bought it. That's how come I haven't done it. So I don't know. Yeah, I was just looking for something, you know, like if you go out and Google the um, Citrusolve, you know, or look at it on Amazon or something like that, you can kind of see what what type of product that is. And then just look for a product that's similar, because that's all I did. I just thought, well, there's got to be something on the market that's like this that and it, you know it was supposed to be totally you know toxic free and all of that it, organic yada yada so i think if you just like that. Google, uh solvent cleaner citrus based or citrus solver solvent cleaner or something like that you'll come up with it yep the internet knows everything they do that darn internet they do know everything So I've got this card somebody sent me with their art on it. it. This was part of a swap, and I love this. I love this image, and it's a print, so I don't feel real bad. It was from Jeannie, Jeannie Elliot. So I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this out and use it because I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And then I think I might even use it on my cover, which is where. No, I don't think I want it on my cover. I'll find a spot for it somewhere in here. Ugh, this is not dry. I need to dry it. <laughs> I'm filming oh, it up yeah. and it's like, Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to mute. So you're going to have to talk. Well, Barb is here. Good morning, Barb. Um, looks like Cindy might have come up with the information form. So that's good.
helping one another. And let's see, cut her off this way. She is gorgeous. Gorgeous work of art. I'm going to put on my little zine. So I want that to show maybe here. <clears throat> I need to trim it down just a little bit. Did I not mute my microphone? I guess I didn't. Did I? Hello. What? Was my microphone muted or not? No. Well, I heard you during. Uh, okay, I messed up. Um, I noticed there's a couple other people here that we didn't say hi to. Um, Frana and Iris. I was just looking as I was drawing. Okay, hi. Good morning, everybody. We're glad you're here. Um, someone was asking me about pistachio. Uh, they've obviously looked at the... The prompts? <laughs> the prompts. <laughs> yes, if you could don't know we have our new prompts up for pick a stick so check them out um let me show you I can find it. the pistachio color based on what the internet says with the rgb codes and all those codes is somewhere between these two so a bright yellow-ish green. So this one is the So Soft Paint Green Apple. This one is Dirty Martini from Dilutions. Well, and pistachios on it, Shell. Um, yes, I do. I just had that out a minute ago. <laughs> well, and if uh, you're going with if you're going with Distress Oxide Pistachio, it's this one. So, you know, it, it it's your interpretation of the prompt. So don't yep. get too shook up with the whole color thing. Yeah. That's kind of shiny. It's not really showing. But there's this pistachio green and actual pistachios. So if you're really, really fussy, you could get a bag of pistachios, crack them, and then you would know. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, I need to get started here. Hopefully this is dry enough. So I was noticing, um, even though I carefully, carefully folded mine, and I really did carefully fold this, that there's still some extras on the edge. And I think that's just because of the fold. And I don't like that. So I'm going to cut them off with an X-Acto knife. If I can find my mat, threw it somewhere when I got rid of it. So yeah, I'm there, gonna... there are there are pieces because it it you know the paper takes up some space unless yeah. you're using really really thin paper and I actually thought about using something like the render or you know something that isn't going to bleed through that you could put all kinds of products onto that um, you know would would fold really nicely so it's up to you what you use. And I, I also plan with... to stick my pages together because I also don't like that they flop around. But that's just me. You don't have to. I just don't like floppy things. It's a personal yeah, problem. It's, it's totally yours. You can make it however you want to make it. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. So that kind of um, did some weird stuff to my thing. 
it's not now not all connected. <laughs> but I was planning on sticking them together anyway. So what what caused that shell? Cutting it. Because it cut some of the folds off. Oh, well, you can just stick the back, stick them back to back, right? Yep, that's what I plan to do is just stick them back yeah. together anyway. So yeah. I'm going to use my eye craft tape runner for that. And I'm Heartland just going to... The <laughs> but there's a place that needs to stick together. I'm just going to put some tape in there. Stick it down. Okie dokie. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I haven't even started decorating mine yet, and Peg's already like off there going crazy. <laughs> yeah, but you always catch up with me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking good. Oh, that's not straight. If you're going to cut it, then you should make it straight, you ding dong. So let's see what folks are saying. Thea, what are you doing? I got to scroll back. Yes, I do like floppy little bunnies, Peggy. That's okay. Except for those ones in my backyard who keep eating everything. <laughs> They're not so cute. Well, they are actually really cute. But they are really cute, darn them. Yeah. But they dig holes in my yard. Yeah. Well, There's not much in my yard, and they still manage to find things to eat. It's amazing. It is amazing. Well, I think okay. they like my day lilies. They, they always seem to make a nest in my day lilies. <laughs> oh. It's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, so what do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? Does anyone know? What do you want to do next? I don't know. Throw something on there. The right color. I want the right color. Ooh, these new felt flowers. Yeah, you know, I was know. saying how I didn't really like these mermaid markers, but honestly, for this, they're great. <laughs> 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 I'm not complaining. They're not bad for this. Well, that's cute. I got these felt flowers in uh, Happy Mail the other day. Oh, fun. Yeah. I'm going to start with them. They're cute. And since it's the first page, they won't be too fat. Maybe I'll put yeah, some I'm trying to stick down. with stuff that's not real dimensional. Yeah. That's what Which I Which is thinking. hard for me. You know that's hard for me. Yes, that's hard for you. I'm a 3D kind of girl. <laughs> well, I think if you weren't, you'd be pretty flat. Yep. Ha ha. Funny. Very funny. You're so funny. That's what I should put on, on my zine. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I could put musical notes on here. Oh, come on. I'm going to freak everybody out because I have a blade pointed towards my thumb. <gasps> Not that. Really, I am. Oh, I don't like that. Safety first. Or positioning. Huh. 
That's better. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no, but it, it did. <laughs> it's that whole eye thing. Okay, so I think I need this and kind of start addressing it more as individual pages. Oh dear. So I have a little That's green flower funny. and um, I put glue on it and then I dropped it and I can't find it. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good? No. There's now somewhere a green flower floating around that has glue on it that may or may not be sticking to something it shouldn't stick to. Maybe it's stuck to my leg or something. I can't find it. <sighs> Who knows for sure what's going on. <laughs> so maybe some more of that skinny washi tape. I kind of like that. The missing green flower. It's gonna. It's probably gone someplace with Mary's black shoe. Okay. Probably. Um, yeah. It will stick to the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> yes, it will. I'm barefoot. I'm like uh, an Arizona. I'm barefoot. I know it's not stuck to my shoe. Bottom of your shoe. Well, the bottom of your foot. Whatever. Well, I'd feel that. I think. Because you'll sit on it later. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That Everybody's pointing and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sad but true. So I'm going to stick the two sides to make a pocket. I'm using some red line. Glue brush. Sure wish. Did you did you really run off with my bone folder this morning? I mean, come on. I yeah, really you need know, it. I had to take it. It just it just was a way to do it, you know. Had to be done. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet it's in that thing I moved. I bet that's what you it moved is. something. Oh, you know, Never I'm moving stuff around here all the time. <laughs> Guess what? I found a bone folder. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yay! Woohoo! The crowd cheers. Okay, I'm liking that better now. And I need some washi tape. Well, I'm sure you have some. Uh, yeah, just a few. Just yeah, a, a few. Hundred. Just a few hundred. That's all you need. I was looking. I was looking for those really cool Dina Wakely ones because I was keeping them special and I hung them up someplace. You know. <laughs> 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 oh, there they are. Yeah, I like these black and white ones. 
Yeah, I would like black and white ones. I, I don't have any, I don't think. Totally cool. Like, oh my God, totally. Edge got tattered, so I'm going to try to put something on there to make it better. Because it's a poor tattered thing. I could just ratty it all up, too. That's an option. Yeah, that's definitely an option. I, I like that option, actually. Rough it up. One of those scratchy things and scratch up the edges. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing good. Now I can't go to the next page because this one's wet with matte medium. Oh, dryer. Well, you saw how I failed at that last time. Failed to um, remember to turn it on. I thought I did. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and one of the things I like about the Dana Wakely tape is it actually sticks. Well, that's useful. You just have to keep gluing and gluing and gluing. This one seems to be pretty good. So I got one of those stickers from Gina on my front cover. I need to put some kind of some kind of something on there. You know, she sent <clears throat> oh, um, like it that. is oh more like thirty eight minutes. <laughs> Don't cut yourself short. Uh. Thanks, Peggy. Um, Hi, Michael Ann. Glad you made it. Hi. Toka? Toke? Toke? Not sure. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> T O K E. Someone joined us to named T O K E. Trying to figure out how you would say that. Any ideas? No, no. Toke, it looks like to me. Yeah. You know, without, if you change the P to T, it's toke, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got stickers. Let's see. Oh, no, let's do... Go with your heart. Go with you got your word stickers? Heart. I got word stickers. I have words, and I have, I just saw some nice red colors on some paper, and I will put a nice big old heart on there. How's that? I think I have a theme started. Yay! Yes. Ooh, I like that too. <laughs> well, I got you. Ooh, and this one and that one, and I want this one and that one. 
It says, grateful for all we have. Hmm. I'm muting this time. I promise. I really am. I'm going to have to bring out this heat tool. It's okay, Shell. I don't think anybody minded. What is the slit for? It, it isn't for anything. You don't have to have anything. It's just the way you form the book um, because you need a slit in order for the pages to fold up. And what I was thinking of doing with it's so you can make it any way you want to. I don't know, for those that were not here earlier, you know, I was showing you I'd started this one on just a piece of magazine paper. I'd gotten a map when I was traveling, and this is the map. And so you can make them out of anything. This is the map, and so I'm going to leave pockets in the top of the map so that I can put my travel memorabilia into this book. So you have options. I like options. Let me get a clip so I can keep that down. All right. And what was I doing? I was doing a heart, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Talk to myself. Um, actually, I had some stamps. I wonder if I have a heart stamp out here. A bunch of stuff. Ooh. Oh, card. This would have been fun on the cover. You're doing flowers, right? I'm doing flowers, yeah. And um, here's what happens if you are too impatient with your magazine collage and you fold it too, too off soon and you they stick together and then you pull the paper off because magazine paper is crap. But they were so cute, these little, this vase of little flowers were so cute. Yeah. But the ink worn on, got worn on it, and um, when I collaged, and also I, I pulled it apart and messed it up, and grr, just grr, that's all I can say. Grr, grr. So cool. I just got this one. Too big. Yeah. Those pages were stuck together too from the acrylic paint not being dry enough. Just I guess I should have decorated it while I pulled it out. So someone said, what is the slit for in the zine? Did you answer that question while I was being noisy? I hope they still have questions about it or not. Um, All right, guys are there. Yay. What happened to mine? That's going to show what it was for. Where did it go? All right. I think I'm going to use the sticker from Gina, but I'm going to all. Okay, Holly, here you go. This is the one I folded earlier. And what the slit is for is that the pages come out into a, well, I can't on this way. Come out, when you fold it this way, they come out into a star. And they wouldn't do that if you didn't put that slit. That's what the slit's for. Does that answer your question? Hope so. <laughs> She says, yep. Yep. She got the answer. Yep. Okay, good. All right. So I'm using this sticker from Gina, and I'm altering it because I'm what I'm doing is I'm drawing my heart right on that sticker. I'm making a heart sticker out of her sticker. Oh, I, I was going to do that. I was going to um, I was gonna use a stamp. I had this idea earlier to use a stamp on one of these magazine pieces and make a flowered flower. There you go. 
There's an easy way to cut it out. I mean, I could just cut it out freehand, but. It seemed like a good idea at the time. My knife. See what we have here. So, working on all you people out there in Are you doing any challenges this month? Tell me do. What are you up to? All right, I had a glue stick. There it is. <laughs> So I used this open stamp on to this magazine paper and then I just cut out around the lines and I'm going to make a little collage using these little flowers made out of flowers. Cool. <laughs> yes, it is a challenge, Cindy. That's for sure. She's getting her art space manageable. <laughs> Mine's still not manageable and I've been in here now. I moved my studio, what, I don't know, a year ago, half a year ago, six months ago. It's a disaster and it's not getting any better. But oh well. I'd rather do art than uh, organize. Yeah, don't we all rather do art than organize? Oh, I am so bad at that. I'll pick something up, think I'm going to organize, and then right away I'm playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Barb Clark says she's doing the challenge that we're doing, so that's good. All right. That's a fun one. Peggy Bradford says she organizes and can't find anything. Yeah, got yeah. it, got that, get it, we understand. So true, so true. Uh, I think they saw, they all heard me fumbling around looking for something that I'd moved this morning. <laughs> bone folder. I think it was the bone folder. Oh, man. You accused me of taking it. Yeah. Well, you know, when I if it suddenly shows up. I, <laughs> I've done that more times. So if I'm It'll accusing you, you know it's because I, mean, I need it. So my second page says, grateful for all we have. And I found this, these are uh, Dina Wakely stickers for for Creative Diary. And I'm making a place in here where we can list those things that we're grateful for. How cool is that? Well. 
stupid magazine paper. I don't like it. Yeah, that's why I kind of gave up on that first one because, you know, this this is okay, but it's crinkly. And you know me and crinkly. Mm. Yeah, mine's crinkly, and it's uh, making me mad. I'm making me mad. So I'll finish it, but it's just not. Oh, here, this is what I can do. I can just move this down. Make it look like it was there. <laughs> I do believe that we cannot finish a zine in an hour and a half. Oh, sure we can. <laughs> Uh, not mine. <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Has so much work to do still. I haven't even started on any detailing or anything. Nothing's dry. And yeah. I'm not going to work. Oh, let's see. Nikki's here. Hi, Nikki. And a uh, little old messy table studio who happens to be a brand new channel that you should be checking out. So how are you doing this morning, Vicki? And I've got these stickers that say to do. And there's a place over there for that. And I'll flip my page. I'm on to page four. You're on to page four. I'm on to page four. Slow down already. <laughs> uh, got cookies. Oh, no. She's got cookies. She's twisting my arm here. It's okay. I've got some upstairs. I just might have to have some later. I have pie. Ooh. The blackberries were on sale for 77 cents. And so I got some and made a pie. Nice. I like pie. Pie's good. I haven't had pie in ages. It's popular in my house. In fact, yeah. I should say I I might I might should have said maybe I have pie. Yeah. We'll find out. <laughs> it's popular in my house too. I think that's probably why I haven't had any in ages. Yeah. <laughs> I need my eraser, don't I? I need to erase my numbers. Or I might need just a little bit of oh, spotted gesso to cover that up. There we go. Not so bad now. I think I want to incorporate some of that pink. 
Love is all much. around. Okay, so where are we going? Go with your heart. Grateful for all we have, a list and things to do. Love is all around. I need something for these three. Okay. So, what else do I have? Maybe some rub -ons. I don't know. Don't like those. How about... Oh, my favorite things. I like that rub on. These are a few of my favorite things. You rotten lot. Do not talk about pie and cookies. I just started a diet this <laughs> week. Oh, Nikki, I'm so. <laughs> Don't talk about diet. <laughs> yeah. Ew. <laughs> so I've got some packaging here with some images on it. I think I will use them. Sounds like Why a not, right? I like it. Yeah, I like that. I like to use what I have and recycle and repurpose. It is a good thing to do. Need to do something with that. What do, I do with those scribble sticks? Hmm. Scribble sticks. Scribble yeah, I was thinking sticks. about getting out my neo colors here in a minute, but I wanted to finish my gluing first. I don't know where they went to. Here we go. Uh, only 15 minutes left. Don't stick together. Bad, bad, bad. Do not do it. Yeah, you know, I, I have kind of, I'm forcing myself right now to use stuff that I don't normally get out of the drawers when I'm looking for stuff to use. Because I need to make determinations about what's staying and what's going. Mm -hmm. So, Scribble Sticks is one of those things that I got and they've been sitting in the drawer kind of since I got them. That's not a good thing. I didn't get them because I already had Neo Colors, which I absolutely love. And I could not imagine that they could be any better than that. So I didn't bother getting them. Well, I had used, I'd, I'd been to one of her classes and I'd used the I think they were oil pastels. They were probably the portfolio oil pastel in her class. And I mm -hmm. liked doing that because we were using them to add texture and things. And I thought, okay, 
when the scribble sticks came out, I need those. <laughs> right? I need those. You know how it is. Right. I need those. Need, yes, definitely. But like I said, since then they've kind of been sitting totally unused. So now I'm using it. Good plan. Oh, there's another page. Crap. I missed a page. Uh-oh. And I got stuff stuck down to my... Uh, I'm just struggling. I'm struggling. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I, I don't want... Like that. I, I feel like... I don't have time to stop and dry this because we I need to get done and so well but you know we've we finished things later before Grr. I guess I'll just dry and then I'll do it the rest of it later I guess yeah because you, you really do need to have a surface you can work on right Yep. Uh, I think eyes because it's small. You know, it's like working on a bunch of little artist trading cards. And you know, some people moving back and forth between sizes have issues. So you need to think about, you know, you're composing on a small canvas doing this. And I'm using this rub on up because as you can see a letter is missing. So I'm just going to grab a pen and write that in. Um. <laughs> Sybil, you know what, sweetie? Send me your address. I probably have some things I can send to you. I do that on occasion, send things to my friends that they love, and I am saying, nah, it just isn't cutting it for me. I need a brush marker. That one isn't doing it. Doing it, doing it. Let me see. Do I have a medium? Do I have a medium? That is the question. I should. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Martha Stewart wouldn't work. Okay, so I got out my Nia colors now, and I'm going to do some detailing around this, this world here. Just to get at least get some of that on the video. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Probably use some Poscas too, and some uh, maybe some of those other pins. I don't know. Just really like neo colors. Yeah, I, I love Neocolor, so I use them quite a bit. 
I also like the uh, Marabou crayons. I've decided I like them a lot. Um, Marabou mixed media something. I forget what they're called. I don't just have a, them. Just a screw up crayon, kind of like the uh, Tim Holtz distress ones. Were they better priced or not? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. I just knew I wanted some. Yeah, I want a lot of things, but I can't really afford a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could. I do. Yeah. It'd be nice to just buy whatever I want. Ooh, that's right. You sent me these pastel poskets. These are pretty awesome. Or maybe I bought these. I don't know. I did get that new um, jelly plate I said I was going to get. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, you'll be rocking and rolling that this month, won't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> it is the perfect time for it. Okay, Sybil says, got her address from the tissue swap. Well, send it to me again. Just private message me. <laughs> I don't know where all that stuff is. Um, you know, if, if you guys, if you guys really want some stuff, I, I can send you an envelope. And don't count on it right away because I'm traveling again. But, um, you know, sometime when I'm sending out stuff, don't be surprised if you get a little package. Craft stockpile load and ready to go. <laughs> Ian, you're funny. Nikki says, Shell and Pig, the zines are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Nikki. Um, Elaine says she loves the Neos too. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Okay, I need to keep rolling here, don't I? Yep. Um, rolling, rolling, no, rolling. Red, I need to do something that works with that. So let me get, get something else. Maybe I need to move this. Need to move that somewhere else. I'm getting to the point where I've got stuff out and I can't find my tools. Now I'm making quite a pile of mess over here. Yeah. Just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be better, I think. I need to incorporate that red. It's just is standing out all by itself and saying, yuck. That does happen. <clears throat> so I need to tie it together with something here. That's better. Liking that. And 
Got more of these rub ons. Should probably use some of these up because I've had them forever. Ever, ever, ever. Well, I think I completed my cover. <laughs> Good. Good. You have a photo That's shot it. then. <laughs> That's all she wrote. That's all I got. Hmm. I think the Neo Color 2 Light Olive number 245 is also pistachio. Just in case you were wondering. Really? I was yep. really concerned about that. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I, I bet you were wondering just what color with the neo of the neo colors would be the right color for pistachio. I know you were worried. Now you know. There can be no doubt. I'm so glad you told me. I'm just here to help. I know you are. You're so much help. <laughs> now you can sleep at night well I'll try <laughs> <laughs> I know easier said than done yeah yeah Barbara wants to know what the difference is between Neo Color 2's uh, gelatos and scribble sticks. Gelatos are very, very soft, like a lipstick. I wouldn't recommend using it as lipstick, but it's a lot like a lipstick and it's a push up, water based media. Um, scribble sticks, I don't have, so Peg would have to address them. Scribble but the Neo Colors are more waxy. Yeah. And, uh, but still very highly pigmented and easy to use. I just, I don't know. Of all the things that I have, they're my favorite. Scribble sticks are, are really, really hard. Um, they are water soluble, so you can pick them up with a brush and put them down just like watercolor. But when you use a scribble stick, it's, it, it's almost even hard to get off of the crayon because you really do have to give some oomph to scribble with it. Oomph. They require oomph. Yeah. And then the um, the other ones I was talking about were these. The Marabou. The, the Marabou, yeah. The Marabou are really creamy. So like if, if I were to use it on this page, um, as you can see, I've used it a lot. There's enough in here to put a little bit down. Um, it just goes on really creamy, smooth, and blends in nicely. And of course, um, you can also use the brush. With so those are the Marabou. And then of course, you guys probably know about the Distress ones too. So there's a lot of options, lots of options. And, you know, I, I don't say go out and get anything. What I say is use what you have, and then when it's gone, replace it with something that you think you might like better, you know? <clears throat> of course, for someone like us who's on, you know, entertaining people and teaching people and uh, whatever on YouTube, we kind of have to get stuff. I mean, I feel like I should have more stuff that I can show. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I don't really need to. But I, I always feel like I should get the newest thing so that I can say something about it. Well, and but, I always, I always had a lot of stuff because I taught for a lot of years, so I, I have a lot of things in my stash. So. You know, that's why you see me with a lot of things or, you know, companies send me stuff and I'll use it. 
but that doesn't mean everybody has to rush out and get that. Yeah. I have a lot of, a lot of stamping up stuff and, you know, I mean, everything keeps coming back out. Yeah. The same thing is, you know, coming back around again and again and again. And I don't know. I don't know about this black pin work, but it is what it is. <laughs> I do usually like black pin work, so maybe I should have went with a lighter color. I guess I could use the stencil. Oh man, we're past time. Oh, oh. Well, I guess people will leave if they have to leave, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I was afraid of that with this one. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit quicker than it ended up being. So shall we just show what we've done and then uh, go? Or shall we stay on for a little bit longer? Or what do you want to do? What do you guys want us to do? That says the cover looks great, Shell. Roz is here. Hi, Roz. Uh, Roz uses Faber Castell watercolor crayons. Yeah. Well, and I've I've actually used those. Uh, what do you call those? Portfolio, and I I have oil pastels and portfolio oil, which is the water soluble oil. Which are, those are really inexpensive. Yeah, I have uh, Stampin' Up watercolor crayons that I never use. I have Lyra uh, ones that I never use. Um, I have Gelatos. I just never use them. <laughs> I just like the Neo colors, so I tend to use them. Yeah. Can well, and, like and see, that's what I was saying is I was, I was kind of forcing myself to use some of the products that were sitting in the drawer. Um, right. Because I need to determine, am I keeping it or getting rid of it? So that's why some of this stuff is coming out today, because I need to make decisions about what I'm doing. Do right. I really like this stuff or do I not? You know. So I have a stencil now, and I'm just stenciling onto this little um, Diane Reevely sticker that page um i kind of messed up there a little bit but that's okay i need some color on that sticker so let me get a paint pen and something bright and beautiful a little neon color here Oh, we got some people I haven't seen before. Uh, Freedom and AJ. Uh, I don't know how long you've been here, but welcome, welcome. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Yes, we are. I've noticed that there's been a lot of people... Um, subscribing there's been a lot of sub subscription notifications so some pe new people must be finding us yeah so i mean ask your questions people you know I, I don't have all the answers but there's a lot of knowledge just even in the people that are in the chat 
Yeah. And they'll help you, you know? I mean, we got a good group here. So. Our community is awesome. Yeah, baby. I think I'm at the point where I'm kind of ready to be done. <laughs> Are you? Okay. No. Well, I mean, we can we can show them what we've got. I I've, I've just got the very back cover to finish, but I think everything else is done. So you wanna wanna speak to what? what you're doing there, Shell? Sure, let me... I was just sticking one more sticker on. My stickers are all coming out of the book. Okay. Making me mad. Uh, <laughs> all right, so um, I have my cover, and what I plan on doing when this is all dry and everything is I'm just going to tie a ribbon um, right through the middle and tie it in a bow in the back here to keep my page and my pages inside um, the front covers done. I might do something on the back. And then I was thinking of just putting some of these larger uh, florals on the inside. And so that there's something on the inside when you flip cool. it open. Then as far as my book, the first page has felt flowers and I haven't done any detailing. This, this is the second page. I haven't done any detailing. This is the one I was working on, which uh, I was doing black pen work. And uh, something needs to go in here. I don't know what's going to go in there. Maybe some words. Maybe I'll write something. Um, then this page has doesn't have anything on it. And this page is started with some little flowers at the bottom. So that's as far as I've gotten. Looking good. Love I the probably flowers. Got at least an hour or more left to work on it. I mean, you know, to finish. Yeah. At least that. But yeah. you've got a really detailed little book there, Shell. I love it. Thanks. Very cool. Well, let's look at yours. Okay, I'm just trying to finish up the the back cover, but let's let's start at the front. Um, okay. I don't know what, how I even came up with this, but um, seems like I had more of a heart theme on mine than flowers. And so I, you know, this is that, these stickers from Gina. And like I said, you can find these on her Etsy store. Lead tape and, you know, the brush markers are what I use to put the watercolor background in with. Um, here's the second and third page, which has uh, Grateful for All We Do, and they can list that. They can also put a to-do list in here, you know, because if I give this as a gift to somebody, then they need to have places that they can write what they want in their little book too, in their zine. And then uh, this one, this page seemed to be all about love. It says love is all around. I need to put some matte medium on that. Um, <clears throat> I used, this was a, a note card that a friend of mine had sent to me and I cut the image out because this is um, we were in a class together, and this is the image. Um, I think other, so that was really cool. Um, these are those stickers and papers and things from uh, a variety of things, and you know, just cutting up packaging using what I got. And there's the back end that I still need to finish. And that's my zine for today. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, so everybody. I think, I think everyone seems to like them. They're saying lots of nice things. Um, they're saying things are awesome and beautiful and uh Ready for spring? Yes, I'm ready for spring. Yeah, I'm so ready for yeah, spring. Love the list idea, Peg. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think that this went well. We just have some finishing to do. Um, you know, another hour or two of, of yeah, feeling or messing or whatever to get it yeah. really to where I want it. 
for yeah, sure. Well, I, I definitely don't like the back cover, so I need to do some work on that. But I will. You know, I'll finish it out. Yeah. And, you know, but I think as what is uh, your how are you going to attach it to your cover? A attach what? Or did you you didn't oh you didn't make an extra cover. Okay. No. I made an no. extra cover going. Okay. All right, so you don't have to then. You you're yeah. already just you're just, just the book itself, which makes sense. I should have done that too, but I just you know how I like I like a little bit bigger cover over a book. And that's the reason that I made a bigger little you know, it's like a quarter inch all the way around yeah. bigger. So. And honestly, I still could put a cover over this. And how I would probably attach it is I've got a long reach staple. Oh, that would work. Yeah, that would work too. Um, I mean, you could also sew it in. I could sew mine in. Yeah, but, yeah you can sew uh, it. I'm just going to put a ribbon. I'm just going to put like a bright pink ribbon. You know, ribbon other right types of fasteners place. like those, you know, those file fasteners or. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I think that's it for us today. Um, thanks, everyone, for showing up. And so glad you guys made it here with us. Yeah, I please remember to give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you can, guys, because that helps people find our channel. And so that helps. And if you're watching this on replay, there are same thing. that we're doing this month. Like we have, we have Pick a Stick up. So, you know, be sure and... and if you're going to make a page, make a page for that and get it posted. If you're going to do the jelly printing with us, you know, the more the merrier. We're uh, I'm in both the uh, Art Joyous Sharing Facebook group. So, I mean, you can find us there. So, yeah. Love to see what you guys are working on. Yes, definitely. Definitely. All right. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time. Bye for now.